Salvete Amnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Mega Man 9. In the last episode, we went swimming and beat up a girl. And now we go from the C's to the B's with Hornet Man's stage. No particular reason. I have no idea where his stage sits on the difficulty spectrum, but it's as good a choice as any to do third. We're in a beautiful garden! And we have these minecart things, which totally do not fit Hornet Man's, Hornet Man's stage. They're also in Jewel Man's, and they actually make sense there. We also have these flower pot enemies, which are kind of a nuisance. They take four shots to get rid of. There are a few different variants of them, and we'll see them all over the place in this stage. Seems like the best thing to do with them is to stand far enough away that you're not in range of them, but they're in range of you, and then just snipe them from afar, so to speak. So, here's a risky bolt that you can get. Not as risky as it looks, because I don't think I've ever actually hit the spikes there, but... Oh, and I actually never demonstrated the... weapons. This is a really good time to do it. But we have scissors to deal with. Ow! And I am really bad at dodging them. We also have these cannon enemies, which only fire once you shoot them. Uh, shoot, I screwed that up. I was supposed to go over to the left there. Oh no, I guess... Wait a minute. Come to think of it... Can I rush coil it? You're supposed to shoot that guy on... Th that one cannon on the way down, but I think... Yeah. Jeez! I guess it's not that cheesy, it's just a one-up, but... Oh. So then we have this. And then I think about it... They never reuse the gimmick with these cannon enemies in the Wily stages or anything like that. Anyway, we have our first mini-boss of the game. It's a flower clock, or something. Isn't there a type of flower named after a clock? Four o'clocks? I don't really have a solid strategy for this, aside from... Um... It's probably better to be on the bottom than the top, because you can jump up and you can't really... Well, if it's on the bottom one, you can't actually hit it with the buster. And stay ahead of the clock. Definitely stay ahead of the clock. Oh, that's... that's personal space. Yeah. That's not good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Darn it. I bet I'm gonna have to start over from the beginning. So, let's maybe not get hit by the scissors so many times this time. Six shots for the mine now the minecart enemies. It does help sometimes in Mega Man games to know how many shots an enemy takes to get rid of. And to just button mash too. You know, you'd think that in modern games, well games that aren't uh, that aren't designed to be like retro styled, that thing that tricks like scrolling things off screen and... Whoa. And just barely scrolling things on screen wouldn't work as well, but it actually seems to more often than one would think. Okay, drop that. Uh, get the cannonball right on the head. I didn't actually need to go that way that time because I already got the one up. Now, let's, now let's not undergo death by flower. As romantic as it may be. Seems like going directly from the top... That was dumb. The top platform, no, platform to the bottom one works well. Yeah, see, there, there's the... I'm not keeping ahead of the clock well enough. I'm pretty sure the checkpoint is immediately after this thing, too, so... Yeah, see? Can't hit it at the bottom. Basically, just be careful. But we got it. And time for the second half of the stage. You remember these things? This is kind of a weird platform, and I don't think we see these anywhere else, either. Whoa! 
Actually, this is probably the most dangerous part of the stage. Allow me to demonstrate that. Because I'm not very good at dodging the scissors. Especially on platforms that are that temporary. Yeah. I'm not very good at Hornet Man stage, just saying. Not sure whether it's best to try to take the scissors out before they combine, or wait until after. Okay, that one I thought would come from come where I was, but whoa! Uh, ah, gall darn it! Well, that doesn't usually happen. How many lives do I have anyway? This is my last one. Well, that's great. Really hope something drops a one up before the boss, or I could be in trouble. And that was dumb. Yeah, no more easy victories like in Galaxy Men and Splash Woman stage. Especially if I just let the scissors hit me. Okay, now we get to see one of these things in action. And this one shoots cactuses. Or cacti. That's another one of those tricky plurals, and I think it's actually different for cactus. Like you can actually say cacti and it's not incorrect. Daisies! And I scrolled them back onto the screen. Doesn't seem like the kind of flower they shoot actually matters. There's another one over here, isn't there? Yes, there is. It's probably gonna scroll back as soon as I get these. So much enemy scrolling onto screenness in here. Oh, there's a one up. And we have these things. The obligatory big stompy enemy. And yeah, I'm gonna scroll the flower thing back. And the big stompy guy. I feel like dropping it. No, nope. Okay. Time for Hornet Man, and I'm glad I have full health because I'm not very good at fighting him either. He shoots bees. Robot bees that, ow, hurt you when they run into you. And the bees home in on you too. That was great. Probably best to take out at least one, preferably two of the bees early on. I think I'm just going to focus on dodging and getting rid of the bees rather than damaging him more. Oh, yep, I uh, only had three HP left. Well, based on what we learned that time, we can probably suck just as much or more next time. So yeah, definitely get rid of as many bees as you can. I think it also helps to know when they're actually coming for you. Because they're not constantly homing in. And even then you can screw up, like I just did twice getting hit by the same bee. Didn't really have a spot to Uh-oh. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Uh, I'm supposed to get hit by him. Come on, mashing finger, don't fail me now. Ooh, that was close, but we got him. I feel like pretty much every fight I have with Hornet Man is either I lose or it's a very close call. And that one, fortunately, was the latter, but... Yeah... I'm not very practiced at him. I've tried, and I can never get the hang of it. But we have the... Hornet Chaser. Someday or other, I'm gonna have to start demonstrating these weapons. But yeah, now we can shoot bees too! Save into slot 3. I'm probably gonna kill myself off in saves just so I'm back to full lives. So, three stages down, I'd say we're making pretty good progress. And we will continue to do so next time.